All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Chakwadash, the Ba'anners, to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Salutations, to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom unto the Aqua, which is the women believers, Shalom unto you. As you see, the devil just being a devil, you know, the devil, you know, the definition of devil means slanderer, you know, and when he slander, he also deceives because... A slander is a false accusation. And um, since he is the devil and he go around pointing the fingers and making himself the victim. You know, um, this is why the scripture says before I read this. It said, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power in the power of Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. So as you see, these prophecies is coming to pass. Just know that our salvation is coming too. So the accuser of the brethren is on the prowl, you know. So I said, why should black Americans make make of Israel Hamas war? Whether you are with the Palestinians or the Israelis as black Americans, there is a split. National security expert Asha Castleberry Hernandez told the Grio, right? So it says, as the world reacts to the unprecedented war between Israel and Hamas militia group in Gaza, many black Americans have found themselves in the middle of an ongoing political debate. That debate is happening everywhere from American city streets to social media timelines. And you already know for a fact, just like Black Lives Matter and all these other militia groups, they're set up. So the groups that I even watch, you know, Great Millstone, IUIC, IHUPK, Sakari, you know, I haven't seen any of them say that, you know, we wit. Um, 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 Palestine, you know what I'm saying? So, because even though we both understand that they are heathens, even though it's Israelites in the midst of them, you know, it is Israelites in the Palestinian, uh, group is even Israelites in the imposters group. I'll put it that way. I ain't going to say the J word. So we got Israelites everywhere. But the point is, is that um, like like this right here, you see this picture? Who the hell is these people? All right. And then you see they targeting black Americans because that's the head tribe, Judah. So but let's continue to read. As the world reacts to the unprecedented war between Israel and Hamas militia, a group in Gaza, many black Americans have found themselves in the middle of an ongoing political debate. The debate is everywhere from American city street to social media timelines, whether you are the Palestinians or the Israelis as black Americans, there is a split. National security expert and U.S. Army veteran Asha Castleberry Hernandez told the Grio. So, yeah, you see this picture. I ain't going to read all of this because it ain't really saying about nothing, but basically just trying to say that. If you are black and you saying, you know, you're for the Palestinians because you calling yourself the real Jays because you are. So that's anti. You already know the rest of the word. So they basically trying to use the old playbook, trying to get people to feel sad for the Jays. And and that and every time that they do that, you know, they able to, you know, Flip the script, change the narrative, make everything be about them and feel sorry for them. Di direct your attention towards, you know, being sympathetic towards them. Even though they the ones that's tearing up the world, destroying the world, polluting the world, you know. So, like I said, this video ain't gonna be long. I just wanted to show you this, how. Hey, the devil's about to come down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. <clears throat> it said lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices so this is one of his devices the blame game which is one of his main devices that's what the accuser mean that's what devil mean a slanderer so instead of you know looking himself in the mirror and saying you know what 
we did come over there in 1948 by a declaration, you know. We did come over there, removed the people who've been over there, because even though that's not their rightful land, you know, they still was over there before them. All right. So then from that time on, it just been wars after wars to the point that the Palestinians got moved to where they went. And then the the Edomites came in and took where they was, you know. So, you know, at the end of the day, the Lord is about to set everything straight. The Lord is about to set everything straight because that's what it's all about. So this devil, he's about to bring down the blame game. Because that's what he do. <clears throat> it said, your tongue devise of mischief like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love us evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Because everything that you're trying to portray is a lie. You're trying to point a finger. As they say, you point one finger for pointing back at you. All right. So you're trying to point the figure, you're trying to make us see, see the beautiful thing about this truth and the Lord giving you the eyes to see, you see it plainly. He's trying to go around and maneuver around just to end to us because we are the only ones that um are have any type of significance. He don't care if you're a Christian. He don't care if you're a Muslim. He don't even care if you is a whistleblower. Even though he take out you whistleblowers, <laughs> you know, but hey, that video still stay up, though. You the person who whistleblown, they just be back to the spirit world. But the video still up, you know, but you see, they take our videos down and we the only threat because see, we're not coming with our own words. We coming with the Lord's words. So we are the only um threat. And it says, you love us all devouring words, or you deceitful tongue. And this is his main power outside of the sword. His tongue. His tongue is a form of a sword. His media. When scripture said that he wet his tongue like a sword, when you go into that word wet, um, I forgot what the Hebrew word was, but one of the definitions in is inculcate. And inculcate, hopefully I'm saying it right, inculcate, it means to impress upon the mind by repetition. So what he do, even what he doing with this um anti, you know the rest, sim, you know anti sim. Yeah, so what he do, he he continue to keep pressing upon your mind with his media, and then you start to really feel sad. You start to really look at us because what's going to happen? Everybody going to look at us like we the problem. But the Lord said this is going to happen, and I said this um earlier today on the highways and byways. I'm like. They're going to look at us like we the one that's changing food prices and gas prices and rent prices and polluting the air. And, you know, we don't got no power to do that, but we're going to be to blame. All right. So that's what it's called. Uh, uh, bury your cross. Cause that's what we're going to have to do. So it says the most high shall likewise destroy you forever. He shall take you away, pluck you out of your dwelling place. See, because you ain't you over there. and You ain't supposed to be over there. You've been cast out. And um, and even yo, since you're going to be uh, a people that's going to be done away with, as I say in the scriptures, uh, we're going to inherit. Um, Amos 9 and 13, we're going to inherit Edom. So if if Esau is going to be done away with, who's going to inherit the land? Israel. So you're going to be plucked out of your dwelling place and root you out of the land of the living. Say la, the righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. So while you, you know, trying to get but basically you trying to play a blame game, you're trying to get the people to come against the so-called blacks. All right. You're trying to cast us out in a bad light. You about to bring the persecution, man. And it's all good because it's scripture. And, and when these things do come to pass, man, when these things do come to pass, gird up your mind. It's a beautiful thing to be accounted worthy to suffer for the Lord, you know. So that's why the scripture says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. The famine of the word is about to come. And then when that when that do come, that's when the Lord going to allow all hell to break loose. Because as long as we out on the streets and pushing out videos, mercy is still here. So seek ye the Lord while he may be found. The devil coming down with great wrath. And it will happen. It will happen. Persecution will happen. But the Lord prophesied that it would. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. So all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom. Man.